hello, welcome back to Robeson Design. I'm Rebecca Robeson and today I have a project I'm gonna show you. It's an interior, well actually it's an exterior interior design project. This is gonna be the reveal of something we've been working on for a long time. Let me give you some clues. In fact, stop the video and tell me, where am I talking about? It happens to be near the beach. It has a few amazing rooms in it. And did I mention the most spectacular light fixture you've ever seen in your entire life? Yes, you're right. This is the reveal of the La Jolla Terrace. But first, do you want to know the secret? What I'm sharing with you in the design sessions series is the secret. These are the secrets to what it takes to make your house not a whoa, but a wow. I'm gonna be able to take you so much further into the depths of interior design than I can here on YouTube. You take these principles and you put them to use and you will be your own designer. We are starting the first session on May 28th. It is the last Saturday of May. This is going to be life-changing, revolutionary, a tipping point, the best thing that's ever happened in the interior design world, bar none, since the beginning of time. In the beginning, as they say, the terrace was actually a very beautiful location to start with. But the clients asked me, once we finished the first part of their house, to go ahead and add outdoor furniture. Great, and then they said, and we'd really like to have a bathroom up there. And in my mind, all I could see was an outhouse on top of this amazing fourth floor. So in my mind, I went to symmetry. You know I like to do that. One side is a bathroom, let's balance it with a kitchenette. And then we'll connect the two with an outdoor living space. A little more expensive than an outhouse, but fabulous nonetheless. I'm gonna walk you through from demo to divine this unique and personally monumental design project. You guys remember Andy, our contractor, and the ePay issue? Oh, it's yeah. awful. It doesn't come in anything less red. We needed a fire rated surface for this project, and apparently, this is all there is. is I do not want stucco? orange. This is orange. <laughs> We don't use orange in this house. So well, this one, I mean, this one is because it's, you know, that's, is that orange? <laughs> if you don't think that's orange, Andy, I'm concerned. Look at your shoes. Put your feet up here. These shoes are orange. <laughs> I was pretty concerned at first. And no one can stain this a different color? So I switched around a few things to go with our new color. <laughs> so I get it, you really like this ePay. I love it. You want to use I this love like e everywhere. I do. And? I think it's all gonna turn out really great. This is a piece of cake. Ta-da! Selecting furniture and fabrics and carpets and pillows and all those things, accessories, lighting, that's very normal in my daily routine. But it's a little different when you're doing it for the outdoor areas. Everything has to be weather rated. Scott has been the project manager for the terrace, and he's done a really good job at keeping this whole thing together. Once we got our permits and passed the ePay issue, things really started to move. We even increased the usable space. That is no easy feat. It's like shoveling out of Shawshank Redemption. I like that, I, th I made that up. Remember they, nobody ever laughs at it, but I think it's a great one. Right. We had an outlet over here so, that we wanted to hide. Look, hello. Cannot. Wow. Right. beautiful. Just with the tile and construction completed alone, I love it. Mm -hmm. 
Time to install. Once again, we used Mahogany Run to store all of our furniture that arrived until the day of install. I always like to go and see if everything is in perfect condition before it's ever delivered to a project. Rebecca's outdoor rugs is being used on this project. So we are now opening it and we're going to, for the first time, see it. Did you let a bird crap on my fireplace? Oh sure, now he's got it down. One layer of a multi-layered process. Mm -hmm. Originally, the skylight was such a light color in between the glass panes, so what I did was I painted it a dark charcoal matching that kind of smoky glass. It was a beautiful day for an install and everyone put in a great effort. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Okay, you guys ready to see how the terrace turned out? Let's go. Welcome to our tropical, luxurious, resort style rooftop. We spent a year refining and coordinating every detail that went into this project. And the results? <laughs> I couldn't be happier. I just adore the tile that I used in this project. There are actually four different styles in the bathroom alone. Which sounds strange under usual circumstances, but wow, does it look good. In my never-to-be-humble opinion, of course. My color palette for the terrace is really kind of this beautiful bronze and brown colors as well as this awesome orange coral color, but I wanted a color to cut all of that. I chose this gorgeous aquamarine diamond glass. So gorgeous. And if you think that's something, wait till you see it at sunset. Guys, this was a challenging project. I've saved you from some of the more tedious details, like how long the permits took, to the excavation. We actually had to lower the foundation by a foot. This thing is basically inaccessible. Bringing up all that dirt and equipment and materials and taking it back down again if necessary. Crazy, just crazy to imagine. I feel like I live in a resort. On the tech side, all of our lights and sound, even the television, are all Bluetooth devices and can be controlled by cell phone or tablet. Hello, fancy pants. After word about this project gets out, I think people around town are gonna start calling him Mr. La Jolla. You know what I'm saying? Hello, it's pretty stinking cool. Right now, I'm feeling such a great sense of completion. It's been an awesome journey, and I'm so happy to celebrate it with my client and my team. Oh, okay, got the cake glass, huh? How about oh, yeah. This is the cake size glass. <laughs> and guess what else? The client has decided to throw a party, and he's asked us to choose the food. Make yourselves comfortable, please. Can I offer you both some Chardonnay? Yeah, Everyone because we have a... I can't remember that could try it, right? I thanked you for that, didn't I? As project manager of the rooftop terrace, I was bestowed the honor of picking out all of the appetizers and food for the party. Well, this is the presentation you can expect as well. So this is our first item. This is the lobster potato salad. The first one's really good. Instant success. These are the tuna tartare tacos. Hey, you guys gonna watch the debate tonight? No, but I'm sure you're going to. 
Yes, and I will Fox be telling News you all on. of <laughs> <laughs> Your air horn. <laughs> yes, that's my boy. My baby's got gas. Go on, Glenn Beck. Go on with your bad <laughs> Scott thinks he's so funny. Santa Maria tri-tip. It's almost like a like a tri-tip toast. And oh, we need some more wine out here. Sorry. Yes, we do. Dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'll glad right you noticed. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Well, for so foresaw. <laughs> Look out, everyone. Becky's bringing out the Chardonnay. Sachet. So far. Forcy, horsey. Forsa. <laughs> okay, I heard something very interesting on the Housewives of Orange County. What's her name? Oh, Fox News. I'm not sure which direction she's going. <laughs> I like to be fair and balanced. <laughs> so I take extremes in both directions. So the soup shooter itself is vegetarian, also the paninis are vegetarian. So awesome. Yum. I think if we have a vegetarian dish. I think if you're vegetarian, you should bring your own baggie of things to eat. <laughs> yes, yes. We're going to at least have one vegetarian dish for the picky. Well, you make an entire plane full of people not have peanuts <laughs> on their plane because you're allergic. No, I don't. My mother? No. Yes, you do. You put it on your thing when you check in online. This is such a treat, thank you. Yeah, a little sampler here. Would you like to do her Check wedding sample? I love to do weddings. Yeah, but you want to do hers? Of course. Mm -hmm. Are you engaged? No, no like she's not even dating. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta be prepared for these things. It's best to book in advance. That's okay, I'll just die a spinster. Nobody needs to do my wedding. <laughs> well, you just got another mm -hmm. cat, so you're almost dead. Shut up! <laughs> Coast catering was great. Seriously, delicious. Cheers to Coast catering. Sure. <laughs> Tonight is the night of the big, huge reveal party for our client here in La Jolla, California. Night lit up shore. Our client threw a night on the terrace party for all of our contractors and their families, pretty much everyone who worked on the project. What a generous thing for our client to do. We were honored, and it was honestly a night that we will not soon forget. Pretty ritzy, too. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the reveal of the rooftop terrace. Leave me a comment below and let me know. How would you spend an afternoon on the top of this roof? I think I would spend it in the pool. Nope, the jacuzzi. With a Chardonnay and maybe that lobster potato salad thingy. There's gonna be more videos where you can watch to see the other parts of this house here in the La Jolla project. So I'm gonna link them right here on the side. Three different videos, they're amazing. We love it when you give us a thumbs up, and of course, we always love to hear from you guys, so leave us comments. Okay, we will see you guys next time.